We're gonna play some Jeskai Control. This is uh, Benjamin Nicolich's from the last, um, from the last open. So let's give this deck a whirl. So let's competitive modern. Let's jump into it. It's our feel tough, tough Halloween league. Today's been a rough day for the home team. Let me tell you what. I started out this morning going like 0 and 6 with Tron and went 2 and 3 with Death Shadow. And then went two and three again with Hollow One. So hopefully I can get a good league. No, a good league would be nice. I would like to play first. Alright, we'll keep this hand. So I'll probably fetch shock on one and get a steam vent. Oh, it was bad today, Nate. I got worked today. Like, it was a beating. That's what I'm talking about. The Tron decks are just like the Tron. Tron's really good. It's a very good deck. It's one of the better decks in modern. So we're just looking for any kind of interaction here. Bolt's probably good. Probably each one of these cards are good. I'm gonna put this bolt in the bottom, and I'm gonna put this electrolyze on top. Sounds good, Nathan. We're gonna play an old-fashioned control battle here. I'm going to get worked over if this is a control mirror. I have no idea how to do this. So I'm going to fire off the Electrolyze at the end of their turn. They're opting. So this is like a blue-white Miracles deck. Firing off electrolyzes. Here we go. So what's the worst they can do? Play Jace? We can just tick up and kill it. I think we're just going to go snap Serum Visions on the main phase. We can deal with the Jace if they let the Jace resolve. I think we're just going to get on the battlefield and get our cantrips going on. We don't want either of these cards. We just want we want um we want counter magic at this point. Electrolyze is a really good draw. Okay, we'll take that. So put it on the bottom. Yeah, puts it on the bottom. My opponent plays to fairy. I'm gonna snap electrolyze it. I'm even, I'm even going to like flash my snapcaster mage in here, I think. Yeah, it's game one, Teddy. Tag first. I'm going to play this colonnade. So I wonder, I probably should just go one and one here. I could land a planeswalker, but. 
negate. Okay. So we're going to be able to cast our search for its can't at least. I'm up on cards. I'm up on mana. So, like, we're in a pretty decent spot. And we have a search and play. They have another card, though, so. My opponent plays a Teferi. That's going to be tough. Detention Sphere. Okay. So now I think we're just going to jam this Teferi. Like, show me the goods. All right. That's pretty good. We drew a Snapcaster Mage. I'd like to draw the land there, but such is life. We're going to untap this Field of Ruin in case we want to smoke this colonnade my opponent comes in with. Um, that's okay. So they're going to get this. We're going to Field of Ruin this colonnade, I think. And then it, it lets them have Cryptic Command mana, but it also, like... So I actually don't think I want to do that because I can I can path to exile this colonnade if I play Jace. Yeah, so let's and we can just shuffle away a land. Yeah, this is just Benjamin Nicholas's deck from the last SCG. So, and now we're just gonna like bury our opponent. I mean, we we don't have a counter spell, which is kind of rough, but we can deal with my opponent's Jace. Yeah, I definitely should have if I didn't. Okay, before combat, before attackers. I mean, yeah, I should have just cycled this for mana reasons. And then I'm going to get another red source here. Yeah, we're just going to bury our opponent. That's what I'm talking about. So we don't need this lightning bolt or this land. Bolt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put you to six. I actually kind of like a colonnade attack here. So I need to leave up. I'm just gonna poke my opponent with colonnade. I can hold, I can hold up logic knot. Like there's not a lot my opponent can do here. Um, we're just gonna get like we're gonna get good mana here. So let's. Just poke in. My explosives should be pretty good in this matchup, I think. Because like they have detention spheres. But that's free, right? Like I can bolt them. I've got negate, logic knot. Like I'm ahead on cards, ahead on resources, like you name it. I'm definitely gonna shoot off a lightning bolt at the end of the turn. I appreciate your knowledge, Nathan.
So I'm going to bolt my opponent, replay Jace, and then brainstorm again. I don't think there's any need. Yeah, like that's good. We're just going to send this upstairs. <coughs> I could, like... Because I only got six points of burn. Yeah, so let's just play... Replay Jace. Brainstorm. Did I have enough to just kill him there? I'm not even paying attention. I was just so excited to brainstorm. Nathan, I just wanted to brainstorm, okay? I was so excited to brainstorm, I didn't even think about it. Bolt. Snap bolt. I missed it. I missed it. I was so excited to brainstorm. That's all I wanted to do. Could I have animated it? And yeah, because I could. I had it last turn, so we missed it. We missed it. I really just didn't even think about it. Like we we were so far up ahead that I just was like, whatever. We're just gonna like we're gonna do this because this is fun. All right, so we're going to fire off. I'm going to fetch before I do anything. I want to have an untapped land. <laughs> we're going to be fine. This is fun. I don't play this deck very often. So this is going to be this is going to be a fun a fun league of brainstorming. But yeah, that was like that was that was not good. I will I will admit that. Yeah, you're right. All right, we get in here. We're all set. We're down two minutes, which is probably worth, you know, paying attention to. Get another counter spell. Okay, so I'm assuming these geists are aces. This is good. Click's good. Negate and dispel are good. The wear and tears are probably decent as well. We can get rid of these verdicts. We can probably get rid of these lightning, some of these lightning helixes, helices, however you say that, some of these lightning bolts. Well, that's an even swap there. I probably don't need all these paths. Wear tear is probably decent. I'm sure. This seems all right. I have three paths, so I can fight over colonnades. I probably want the Elspeth. All right, the Elspeth's probably a pretty good way to win the game. I've got three Field of Ruins and three Paths. That's probably all I need. All right. All right, we're going to play serious. We're going to get serious. We're going to get serious, boys and girls. All right, so it's very good. If we can sneak this Geist in, we're in pretty good shape. I kind of want to play lands and not crack them. Because I feel like the best way to lose in this matchup is to just miss a land drop. Like, am I crazy to just want to leave my Flooded Strand there for the rest of the game? 
Hopefully my opponent doesn't jam a surge for his Kanta. Four plus four plus three. Oh shoot! I thought that was a, I thought that was a, a different land. We're all over the place. Oh, that was the blue red untapped fast land. I didn't look at it fast enough. Not punished. So I can go serum visions into negate. Or I can go Serum Visions into, um, into Think Twice. But I think I just want to be patient. I don't want to, like, tap my mana. I'm running out. I'm going to, like, Think Twice at the end of their turn. There's no need to, like, be too excited. I don't really know what I'm looking for right now. I think we can just be slow. I think in these control matchups, a lot of people, like, Go too fast. Like my opponent's holding their lands as well. I don't want to play Serum Visions until like I have an idea of how this game's going to go. Because I have power in the draws. We're just going to pass again. Well, it doesn't make a lot of sense to pass again because think twice, cast three. So we're actually just going to fetch here and Serum Visions now. Because now we're looking for, like, another counter spell or a bomb. Yeah, we're just going to put, put both of these on top. Now I can actually click my opponent at their end step, kind of start a fight. But I kind of want to wait to click something until I've got um, Dispel to back it up. There's like a Jace with Dispel up. All right. So they're going to dispel whatever I do here. I couldn't negate it. Oh, I have to fix my deck list here. I'll do that after this match. So I couldn't negate it. I could just let it resolve and click my opponent and attack it with the Jace. That seems kind of loose. So I think we're going to just hope that they don't have the Dispel here. Which they do. Yeah, I got to update the deck list there, Charlie. So they have the first They have the first big critter. But we get to land Geist. Which should be pretty good. It's all right. It's all right. This is the first match I played with it. No, we don't want that one. So next turn we can actually attack into this Jace and threaten to bounce this crypt this colony with Dispella. Yeah, it's Ben's deck. I'm a big fan of Ben. Ben's a, Ben's a very good Magic player. We did sneak this guy in. So I wonder if my opponent left Supreme Verdict in.
Todd. So they're going to use this to clear the top card. Okay. Sorry, my wife texted me. Give me one second. And then we have the card underneath of our fetch lands cryptic command. So. So this is going to go at him. The angel is going to go at Jace. Counter, target, spell, draw a card. So this is loose kind of because of a flashed in Snapcaster Mage. Do I want another white source? I'm already at 13. I think I'm just going to get an island. All right. We got it. Okay. This little geist, though, might just chew through what my opponent's doing. Suck it, shit. Attack to fairy. Geist token at fairy. So I can snap negate this, which I kind of like doing. But I kind of just want to get this Teferi off the board. So target negate. I, I should have dispelled. That was stupid. That was very stupid. Because now it like clogs up the rest of my hand. Yeah. Because like... If I would have targeted, I should have targeted Dispel so that I could also click or electrolyze. Spell Queller. Spell Queller, you don't say. Yeah, I should have targeted Dispel. Because now, like, now I'm in trouble. But at least I get another land. But this is this is all pretty bad for the home team now, I'd like to say. Should have gotten a White Source, too. That spell queller is nasty. This spell queller is really bad. Yeah, and if I would have targeted the dispel, we'd be in such better shape right now. Because I could um I would have been electrolyzing in a turn. I would just have so much more mana. What is this? You're just like colonnading me, you're Jason me. Nice. The opponent has got it. Okay, so they untap two lands. We're behind on the clock, which is like important. Okay. Um So I can bounce this, draw a card. But the problem is, I, I really want to use this negate. Yeah, this sucks. I just don't. I don't know what to do. Flashback thing twice, maybe. 
Packing it in seems kind of loose, but like these are going to spiral out of control so quickly. Bounce this, click them. I can bounce this, and then I can click them. They're just going to bury me so quickly. Yeah, we're just going to scoop this up. Win the next game. Like, I'm just going to get put under the table by those Jace, that Jason, that's a fairy. All right, I get it, Nathan. I get what you're saying. I'm gonna fix my stream decker while while we're uh, while we're going here. Well, I've got a quick second. <coughs> All right, we should be good now. So I think I tossed that game when I targeted the dis the negate instead of the dispel. All right. So I think I keep this in like prey because if I hit a third land, I'm in pretty good shape. So I have logic not up. Like I can cycle into another land. I might be able to first one to get Jace down. I've got a snapcaster mage. This hand's pretty good. I just need to hit another land drop. the opposite of a land drop. Gas. I was, if I hit another land drop, I mean, I did hit the one let deck, land left in my deck that doesn't produce blue mana. So they, they split with their Seer Vision, which is, you know, all good and fair. So this gets me blue-white. Yeah. I don't really want to just jam the Jace. So now I can kind of like force a little bit of action. I've got Cryptic Command going on. Um, I can snap. I can snap. Electrolyze the end of my opponent's turn. It's nice being of the control deck that feels like I can I can uh, force the action better. You know, like because of cards like Electrolyze and Snapcaster Mage, I feel like I can play at the end of my opponent's turn a little better. That's interesting. I guess I fight over this. Just go for one. Because I still have Snapcaster in play. I don't want to path them though, right? I want to path that colonnade. He gave you, but like I'm, I'm giving them a land. I guess I understand what you're saying. This might be aggressive for me to do. Yeah, I think I get. I think I get what you're saying. 
here. Like I should have just waited, then I could have like pathed it and then still done it. So now I can't act because of Yeah, I see what you're saying. I get ya. Yeah, I should have just used my path. Made my, made something out of my path to exile. Yeah, no, I get you. So now I kind of just want to go like, I want to, no, I want to cryptic this colonnade. Like I want to, I want to cryptic the colonnade in order to be able to land like one of these two planeswalkers without like, I'm, I'm going to guess they have logic knot. God, this sucks. The problem is I'm so I'm behind on tempo. That's not bad. What are they doing? Targeting whose Snapcaster Mage? They're targeting their own Snapcaster Mage? Okay. I love those games. Yeah, this is just not my kind of magic, which makes me a little uncomfortable, but it is fun. This little Snapcaster Mage is going to peck all the way at my opponent. It's going to be the little Snapcaster that could. Until my opponent jams like a Teferi. I probably should have played at instant speed there. All right, what are we doing? Yep, this is, this is, uh, this is no good. It's not my kind of magic. Maybe I'm supposed to leave in like a little bit more reach in order to um, better handle these decks a little bit, like handle these planeswalkers. Maybe that's the advantage of red cards. One, two, three. So I'm one land off playing Jace and Cryptic. Doing this anyway, so I'm gonna attack this. Why didn't you tell me that, Nathan? You jerk. You big jerk head. I really want to hit one more land drop before I go to play this Jace. I kept in two. I got in two paths and I drew both of them. This just isn't getting any better for us. Okay. My opponent got like a mana advantage and I messed up in the early game.
Yes, we are dead. I'm gonna try. And these are kind of fun to play. Well, no, this is you got Jace and that. Let's just take one more draw step. I can E for three. Yeah, so I freaked that up. I messed up with the the call the uh, whatever it is. Um, I messed up with the. I just messed up many times in those last two games. This is not fun to play. Well, okay, yes. The early parts of the game are fun to play. <laughs> it's just tough. It's tough magic. It's not like... It's not my wheelhouse. I definitely felt much better having the lightning bolts in my deck. There's nowhere near the same as Death Shadow. I kind of want a mulligan. We definitely got a mulligan. All right. Exactly the same deck. The opponent mulligans to four. So it looks like we're going to win one. I'm going to play a Slippery Boggle here, and I'm just dead. On the spot. The seven did... Yep, yeah, Search for Escape is good. Because I had a, a million spells I couldn't cast. Oh god, we can't win. This matchup is so bad. Our opponent mulligan to four. They're just going to beat the shit out of us. Oh, this is so bad. The hand also had verdict. I couldn't cast either of them though. So I think I'm gonna field this Temple Garden because they don't play I don't think this deck plays a basic planes. They might play basic planes. Yeah, they definitely play basic planes. I'll save it for the dry arbor. <laughs> I'm a realist, Nathan. So we can't spell anything. Why are we still playing this game one? I could like crypt I could like Jace brainstorm. I mean, we can't take it home. I'm going to counter this, hope they don't have another one, and pray that my Jace gets to... Um, pray that my Jace gets to brainstorm twice. That's the plan here. Like, we're doing, th we're doing this 
because we can't take the counter spells home. And I want to do something. I want to hope, like, I want to pray to God that I get to brainstorm twice with Jace. That's not going to happen. Which is sad. But that didn't stop them. As usual, yes. The problem is because there's two of these, we're just so screwed. Like we have to actually bounce both of them. These are all good cards, but they don't actually do anything. Unless my plan is to, like, Snapcast or Lightning Helix them out of this game. Like, is that the life we're living? If we're going to, like, Helix, Snap Helix for the rest of the game... That's bad. Just need three verdicts. Snapcaster main. Okay, so we get Jace off the board. Alright, I'm gonna fetch. This is like just enough to keep me playing magic. Cause like we're gonna helix them. And then we're gonna be able to like Snapcaster helix them. And maybe we can just cast helix like nine times and win the game. Okay. Probably have to put that lightning bolt in the bottom now. The problem is I just can't deploy it all. So like, snap, bolt puts me, I'm dead in three attacks. So, snapcaster lightning bolt puts me, snapcaster lightning helix puts me at 13. They go to six. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I have four cards in my graveyard. I think I have to put lightning helix into my graveyard, and I think I've got to start like finding cryptic commands. I just don't think that I'm because they have eight points coming at me, and I can't, I can't block, I can't chump block to save some life from this. Like this isn't doing it. I need cryptics. I can't block. I can't block because of spirit mantle. Snap path, they go to 13. Yeah, we just need cryptic commands. I guess we just jam this and hope they attack it. So the big question is, do I bounce the Umbra or do I just draw a card? I probably just draw cards.
Yeah, I'm just gonna draw cards. I kind of hope they just like load up this Glade cover scout and try to kill me or try and then like end up being like a point or two short with this lightning helix. Cause like, well, yeah, that, that, that likely does it wicked. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's just going to attack me and then we're dead as a doorknob. The Spirit Mantle, we had a chance if it wasn't for the Spirit Mantle, I think. I think we were very much in that game without that card. So we want this, this, this. I probably want all of these. And I just want to cut my path to exiles. Electrolyze seems kind of medium. I need to keep in just enough removal. I could have tucked the spirit mantle, but like, is that actually winning me the game? Or is it like hoping they miss and finding cryptic commands winning me the game? I'm not sure. I want to keep it enough removal to kill core spirit dancer. So I don't think I want these lightning bolts. I guess this is what we want to do. Yeah, we're going to give this a try. If I tuck Spirit Mantle, I can snap bolts, put my opponent to 10, block. Next turn, draw another card, and have his Kanta going. Yeah. It's probably right to tuck the Spirit Mantle. Spirit Mantle probably gives me more draws. Probably gotta mulligan this. I don't have enough interaction. As bad as this feels. This is an engineer explosives and a supreme verdict. So I'm basically on molt like I need to get insanely lucky, but this deck plays a million lands. Right, how many lands does this play deck? This deck plays 25 lands. I'm going to keep this with the scry. <laughs> I'm sure it would be worse. The only thing I can't play, the only thing I can't play more than uh, control is pillow power, or play worse than control is combo. So I probably should just play this EE on one to be mana efficient. We're not holding up anything here. We can deal with whatever it is now. What do you got here, Drago? Oh, yeah, Levi. Yeah, I heard Levi top eight in this. Where do you go, Levi? I mean, good on, good on it, man. That's awesome. I still don't understand the point, Drago, but this thing is fun to play. I'm having a grand old time. So we're going to get the Lightning Helix that thing. 
which is great. Um, probably want to get Hollow Fountain. Hollow Fountain. We need to chat early August. I need a foil for standard practicing. What do you mean a foil? If I built this one. Yeah, I didn't see. I, I just went with Ben's because I've seen I've seen Ben play multiple times. I, so I I didn't know that a sparring partner. Sure. We need a foil for standard practicing. I don't know what that means, but we need a fourth for standard practice. Okay. Ooh. Now we just need lands. We need lands. We're in a position to win this game. If we don't draw lands, okay. Oh, nice. Does this work? Okay, I can target it. So I'm actually just going to hold up here and wait till the end of my opponent's turn. That field room was a, was a wicked draw. <laughs> Yeah, this was actually a really good draw. So what do you got? You got a standard tournament you're going to, Nathan? I'm just going to take a shot here. Oh, the RPG cube. Forgot about that. Forgot, forgot you. You dominated that standard event, you. How about just sits there until until the ability resolves? It's like no. Uh, we're gonna get another island. I'll say land there probably seals it. All in the back of the Karn Father. I like that deck a lot. I ended up like I ended up I played it in a mox and I didn't do I think I went like three and three in that mox, but. I was a big fan of the deck. So I might as well take this two for one here, or this Rancor is going to come back. I don't really want to deal with... Well, how much? So if we hit a land next turn, the Rancor doesn't matter. We just counter the creatures for the rest of the game. But my opponent's not going to be able to do anything off White White besides play a Core Spirit a core, um, core spirit Dancer. So I think I'm just going to counter this because if I let this come back and they get a Core Spirit Dancer and I miss a land drop, they're going to draw cards. So I'm going to counter this. If I were you, just hold the E. I changed a lot, made it mid range, I work red black, and it works very well. Nice. I guess I guess I was worried, Drago, that like this white white. But that doesn't make sense for me to worry about. Like I, I was worried about like a core spirit dancer. And if this Rancor comes back into their hand, it ends up making like the core spirit dancer better and starts the chain. But like if I don't hit a land drop here, then it's not good. What is this? They're pathing their own creature. Okay. 
Why would they have Pat to exile? I mean, are they that worried about Colonnade? I'm fairly confused, but it's all right. Okay, so we need to land. Land off the top, and we're golden. I think we're just going to hold up at the negate again because I want to be able to negate like a totem armor card. Yeah, maybe that's probably right. What is this? A ley line? Sure. That shuts off my settle the wreckage, but that's it. And what few lightning helixes I have left in my deck. I have like two lightning helixes left. At least the Logic Knot's a counterspell for a creature. That could be a Dryad Arbor, though. Which would be annoying. God. I could just run this Search for his Cant out here. But I feel like I I just, like, if they land a core, like, I feel like I lose this game, or I could lose this game if my opponent lands a core Firewalker and then starts going off. And if I play the Search for Ezcanta, then I'm in trouble. Or if my opponent lands, like, enough Hyena Umbra kind of cards to make the Supreme Verdict not good. So I think I'm just going to discard. I've got, what, nine cards? Jesus. Probably can ditch a Snapcaster and an Elspeth. Though Snapcaster is probably going to help me win the game. So I probably should just dis discard like an Elspeth and a Cryptic Command. Out of three cards, I, I also was worried that my opponent would have another Dryad Arbor. And have Dryad Arbor into Hyena Umbra also. So that's another reason why I didn't do it. Because like some of these lists play two Dryad Arbors. So now I think I'm just going to push, throw a Snapcaster Mage in, into the fray. I could just start trying to win the game. If I hit, a, if I miss a land drop, I don't want to like, I don't want to discard again. I like some of my opponent's lands. Hook me up. God. I really just like don't think I can lose as long as my opponent doesn't get a core, a core spirit dancer or a creature with a hyena on it. So I think I'm just going to keep sitting. Like... Like I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm gonna win the longer this game goes. They're not gonna have two counter spells that matter, and then I can just keep flashing Snapcaster Mages in and be, and just win the game. I can just like not do anything. If I we just play Drago, I'm just gonna win the game anyways. I don't like. I feel like Escanta isn't doing anything for me, right? Like. I'm going to win this game regardless, as long as my opponent doesn't land a creature or doesn't land a, um, or doesn't land a, a uh, doesn't land a creature or a whatever on a creature. A, all right, there we go. Doesn't land a creature or a Dryad Arbor on the creature. Okay, we've got the fourth land, so we're good.
It just kind of, I, I felt like, how do I lose? And that's the way that I lose. I don't see any other way that I lose. And if, like, my cards are so good in the long game, why even do it? You know? Like, what's the point? Now we get another land, which is nice. Um, no, transform. Yes. Yeah, but he would be playing them, you know what I mean? It's not like he's sitting there sand... I, I would assume, even if he plays two cre creatures and I deal with the Hyena Umbra, I don't lose, right? Well, okay, if he'd have played a creature, then I would have done something differently. Can't <laughs> let it resolve and snap helix. Yeah, the logic knot plus negate makes sense as well. There, pimp Donnie. So now one, two, three, four, five. So I'm pretty sure we're good now. Yeah, snap helix right into this ley line of sanctity. Oh, you helix the creature. Okay. All right. All right. My bad. My bad. I wasn't thinking. That's why I don't play these kind of decks. These kind of decks are, are different than, than, than what I'm used to. Um... I think we're just going to submit. The Settle the Wreckage gets worse because of Leyline, but I don't think any of my other cards are that good, right? This is stressful magic. See, when I supposed to mulligan this hand, I mulligan this hand when I was in the play. I think I've got a mulligan because I don't have double blue for Logic Knot. That should be a string title. It should be. Peter. Almost a five. <laughs> I don't, Yan. You'd mulligan this hand, this hand them all. I didn't see what you guys were talking about there, but. All right, cracking me for three. Nathan, coming in. Coming in with the support. What a guy. All right, Supreme Verdict's what we're looking for. I think it's greedy to mulligan there. 
Because, like, I've got lands. I have a payoff. My opponent's on the way to five. So this is a Daybreak Coronet. So my opponent's going to come and knock in here. Okay. So we're going to crack for six. We gotta really hope that this Supreme Verdict does it for us. I bet they're sitting on another spell. He's actually the hero of Pound Town. So we have this lightning helix to keep us alive. We just really hope our opponent doesn't hit something here. Oh, come on, baby. That's what they drew. So they didn't play an Umbra. All right, gas. I kind of just want to cast this Lightning Helix because, like, I'm not going to get a good chance to cast it for the rest of the game, I think. I'm just going to go, like, upstairs with it. He likes the tree. <laughs> so I go upstairs. White, blue, white, one. They get the Rancor back, which is like not trivial. Hold in case of the Teague. That makes sense. Opponent is drawn cards. So we're going to Teferi bounce this thing. That is the game plan for sure. Tucked. <laughs> yes, she's getting tucked. You are right about that, Nathan. I'm going to fetch an island. All right, now we're getting some velocity. Let's draw a card. It's gonna be like hard to win this game. All right, that's, that's not bad. Let's put this on the bottom. Let's put this on top, play this tapped. I would have... Oh, Seer Vision first? That's just a... Okay, that's a sequence thing that I missed. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. I do the same thing with uh, Death Shadows and Street Wraiths. That makes sense. Slippery, slippery. Okay, so there's the Rancor. God, this stupid core spirit dancer is going to be really annoying. That sequencing thing that I missed. What's F O R, Nathan? Field of Ruin to shape to. Sh okay, to 
Shuffle away to fairy. That makes sense. Yeah. Get rid of that dancer. We don't need her kind hanging out here. And I'm probably just going to like snap verdict this thing. God, you know, Slippery Boggle kind of beats the Teferi Emblem. I just want to say that. just want to shoot that out there. Let's just get another island. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we're going to do that sequencing thing we were talking about. Oh, I shuffled away my cryptic command doing that, Nathan. You're killing me. You're like Field of Ruin it. God, I hate you, Nathan. I hate you so much, Nathan. Put this on the bottom. Oh, that's kind of gas. Draw a card. I could be mana efficient and snap verdict. Like a savar, like a savar. <laughs> Uh, I kind of just want to snap cryptic to just be mana efficient. That's kind of like throwing away my snapcaster mage. My snapcaster mage might do something later. I'm going to be an adult. You know, you gotta run out of boggles sometimes, man. I'm actually gonna negate this, um, whatever this card is. I'm gonna just get rid of this thing. Now, the problem is if I negate this and they land the other one, then I'm in trouble. So I'm not gonna negate this. Then tuck snap. Okay, that's nice. Draw a card. So I could have negated this, but I don't want to. I don't want to like negate this, then have them land a totem armor thing. All right, well, that's how we drew it up. I could go Snap Serum Visions, which is probably worth it. Just to like do stuff with my mana. Not just like piss it all away. So I do have to like win this game eventually. I can't tuck the bottle. It has hexproof. All right, Ted, Ted, take it easy, Teddy. All right, take it easy. Put on the bottom. I guess put this on top. And tap these two lands.
<clears throat> Alright, we'll take the land. We don't need the gate that bad. So we're just about to the point where we can start attacking with Colonnade. I know, playing everything. Playing everything, man. Just doing all the good stuff today. So we, we can start turning the corner next turn, I think. We're just going to start colonnading. Yeah. Blow this thing up. We have to settle the wreckage. Oh, just wasn't feeling it tonight. There, I played it today. Played it for a league today. I played two leagues of Tron today. One league of Death Shadow. One league of um. One league of whatever it is today. Also, um. God, what was it? One league of uh, Mario Hollow One, and then I played this. I've had fun playing this. I lost the control mirror because like I just made mistakes. I, I was like. I just didn't know what I was doing. Like I was I was just obviously outplayed. <laughs> yeah, like the all the all caps no is kinda hard to deal with. Cause like you just don't it's like there's not I just don't understand. Especially when, like, I don't know. Yeah, no, I just got worked over. I played myself in the mirror, yeah. That's the only person I could have beat. God, these are such grueling matches. All right, untap this and this. Sorry, but my wife texted me. So we're almost able to start double activating Colonnade, which is kind of sweet. I think if my opponent plays a creature, I'm going to negate this stupid... Um, Rancor. All right, there we go. We won one. Yay. All right, I'm going to grab another beer. I'll be right back. Yeah, I streamed five leagues of magic today, finished an article. Hey, take it easy, Nathan. Um, finished an article. I did a lot of magic stuff today. Got a lot of, like, magic content stuff today, do. I like making content. It's a lot of fun. So you have to think about this, Drago. Like I don't know what your financial status is, but if if you have a Jeskai deck that costs four hundred dollars, this Jeskai deck costs four hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, it really only costs you. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. Excuse me. It really only costs you forty five dollars because you only lose ten percent when you sell it back. So if you want it for a short amount of time, you can rent the deck and it only costs you forty five bucks. Or you can buy the deck and it only costs you $45. Um, I'm going to get Steam Vents because I can get planes if I need to. Like, that's the, that's the, uh, we're going to put this in the bottom, put this on top. 
Like that's that's the secret of Moto is that it's not that expensive. Okay, so we're playing against and we're playing against elves. Okay, so this must be a pretty good matchup, I would think. You just kind of like kill everything, stay ahead of the game. All right, rules fell. Tilt. So my opponent could go nuts here with like Nettle Sentinel. I guess not even Nettle Sentinel into Heritage Druid doesn't do anything. Maybe. Maybe. I put Faithless Living in my Death Shadow deck and I liked it. You never know. So they get their Dwayne's Elite. Devoted Druid, okay. So I'm just going to kill this Devoted Druid on my main phase because I don't want I don't want this to like because this is this is like two mana next turn that can go towards a cord. Okay, so they're going to counter my yep. It's all right. So we're not really doing a lot. We kind of need this Teferi to, like, take us to the Promised Land. But I've got six cards still. This probably means a company is coming my way. Devoted Druid. Okay. Yeah, also like Drago, you you you'll win enough to make back your money. For sure. That's nice. And like in no time. Like if you're not going to change decks a lot, the best thing to do is to just buy the cards. To, yeah, we're just gonna counter spell this thing. Makes all the creatures huge. So we need a logic knot for two. All right, now we're just going to trade off with the biggest creature. Whoa. Electrolyze is sweet. I guess I should have I should have plus my Teferi before I did that. Cuz I'm going to do that anyways. Yeah, that was, this is just poor sequencing. See, exactly. This, I mean, I guess I would have drawn that afterwards, but it's still, like, poor sequencing. At least I get to untap two lands with the Teferi. Because I'm going up with this Teferi no matter what, so it's what I should have started with. All right, Mystic's good. Man, this Teferi is sick. This thing making mana is sweet. As soon as this thing hits the battlefield... And one, two, three, four, five, six. I can play Supreme Verdict and Cryptic Command next turn. Let me get another Steam Vents. Hey, hey, leave it. So going up for sure. One, two, three, 
Untap. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hope everyone's having a good 4th of July. All right, put this on the bottom, put this on top. I already used this. The other problem about play me playing a control deck is I don't play fast enough to win with it. Like, I'll just routinely go to time. I kind of just want to counter this and draw a card because I'm drawing a Snapcaster Mage. And I'm just like, I'm doing so much of my mana that I've got to like, that I just want to keep, I don't want to just sit on cards. I just want to keep churning through my deck. Hey, leave it. Leave it. Give me one second. Um, so against this deck, Settle the Wreckage and Engineered Explosives are probably what I want. And I can probably cut some Logic Knots. Well, probably cut Negate. And a Logic Knot, probably. My counter spells aren't super great. Give me one second. I'm trying to submit this. All right, I will keep this. Probably just play EE on one. Yeah, it's all about what you want, Drago. I mean, are you are you running cards for um? Okay, leave it, leave it, buddy. Are you running cards for um the SCG? Is that what you're looking to get ready to do? I kind of just want to play this EE on one. If my opponent goes nuts, just pop it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Just conserve my life total. Kind of like, my opponent has to skip to two. They can't play like Heritage Druid or Nettle Sentinel or another Elvish Mystic. They can't, yeah. I should not have played this island though that was loose so i'm just gonna pop this off now because it makes court of calling worse and i just get two cards i don't really know why they put the nettle sentinel no they probably just needed me to pop it yeah because of the heritage druids so they're just gonna play into it i'm gonna spot removal well two heritage druids isn't good so you gotta get another one they have another one drop Again, I'm just going to do this now to just to make Court of Calling worse. I can't deal with Cord, but now if they, can, if they have a land, they can, like land Cord's only for one, two, three. It's only for two. And I'm just going to, again, like on my main phase, I'm going to snap and hit this. If there's any creatures that are real problems, I can tuck them. Yeah, I just want to like limit my opponent's mana. Now you just bolt snap bolt, which is like what I'm in the market for. And this is a this is a solid matchup. I see why elves doesn't get played as much as it as it did.
Again, do this. Keep them off four mana and just like make Court of Calling worse. And we're just going to jam. We're going to attack, jam to fairy, and then have thing twice up, which is pretty great. Okay. So now we're not going to attack. Could have fetched the basic there. Probably should have. Just like autopiloted because this is exactly what I want to do. And I'll trade this. Yeah. Nice. Two and one. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out, watching this uh this this rough magic going on here. This isn't really my wheelhouse. I definitely struggled quite a bit against this in the control mirror. I just got worked. I was just outplayed. There was not really very much else that you could go there. I made dumb mistakes. I didn't know like what to value, yada yada. So it was just poor all around. But I, I've had fun playing this deck. This card's a lot of fun. A lot of stuff you can do with it. Jace is fun. Snapcaster's fun. I thought I was playing Canister for a second. All right, we'll keep this. Just going to lead on this Colonnade. Also, Card Hoarder does not do a... Uh, oh, we're playing Grixis Death Shadow. So it's already, if we're playing Grixis Death Shadow, um, the fact that we get to land this Search Res Kanta is pretty big. I tend to think that the Grixis like has a good chance in this matchup if they can handle, if they can like keep Search Res Kanta off the bat. Oh, we're playing its Hollow One. Okay. The Scalding Tarn threw me off. Playing baited up Tasker. So I still think I'm going to play the Search and just take four from this. With Path to Exile and Lightning Helix, I'll be fine. I don't want to just path them on their first turn, too. And I can do, like, Path, Snap, Path if I need to. Here's another thing I don't understand about these Hollow One decks, is I don't get why they don't play Death Shadow. Because, like, they already do so much damage to themselves. Like, they might as well just capitalize it on it even more. Um, actually, you can keep that on top. Cast it. Uh, bolt. Teferi's likely to be very good against this deck. Bolt is not. So let's put this on top. I'm just going to go like path and to bounce their big creatures. Like repeatedly. And I'm thinking I'm thinking that's what we want to be doing. So we're going to take a shot from this. We're going to take a shot from this. Go down to 11. Jace bounce the hollow one. I go like snap path next turn also. Collective brutality. Okay, so they're gonna get back a flame wake phoenix, which kind of messes my plans a little bit, but not too bad. Now I don't know if I want this Teferi. Because like I go Snapcaster Mage, Lightning Helix, block. Or I can go Jace Bounce. But then they can replay it pretty easily. Especially after they flash back the Faithless Looting.
I think I'm going to want this to fairy. Maybe not. Maybe the Jace is just better. I don't think I can deal with two cards that are super clunky. So I'm going to put this to fairy in my graveyard. All right. Well, that's pretty good. So let's go fetch an island. Oh, Wrath aboard. And then hopefully I don't have something to like get another hollow one into play. So then the Flame White Phoenix comes back. I mean, there'll be able to flash back Faithless Looting, which is a pretty big game. I needed these draws when I played Hollow One earlier when we were streaming. Okay. Uh, put Snapcaster Mage into my graveyard. Um, no, I think I'm going to need this Snapcaster Mage. And I will flip this because I, th I think we just want more lands. So I'm going to Snap Path this. I can go actually go Snap Block Lightning Helix. Make it so I'm not in Bolt Range. So now we're going to be in Bolt Range no matter. Well, no. Okay. Yeah, we're in trouble now. I can't go Snapcaster path my own Snapcaster and live. So I kind of need to go Snapcaster, Helix... Snapcaster Mage block path, go to two. Snapcaster Mage block helix, go to three, and then I can shock myself. So if I draw a untapped land six, that's probably the best play. Snapcaster Mage, lightning helix. Block this. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna helix one of these creatures. So that if I if I draw a fetch land, fetch land's also live. Red white. So I basically go to five. Yeah. Bolt. Yeah, that keeps me in it. So I go like Snapcaster block here, path this, bolt this thing. Now I go to one. Now I go to just go to three again. So I'm just in the same spot. Just like a little different. Snapcast Mage. Path Exile. Can I block and path my own creature and live? No. Then just bolt one of these one of these things here, and now this just like slowly dwindles out of my outs. Unfortunately, I can bounce. I can go Jace bounce the angler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's six. They'd have to delve away their last card. So. I think I just go Jace, Bounce Gurmag Angler. Because they have to delve the Phoenix to get it back into play. And if they draw anything to get the Angler into play while being able to cast the Phoenix, then I'm just dead. But. Yep, that does it too. All right, that does it too.
All right, so against this deck, there's no graveyard hate in Ben 75, which is a little rough. Um, I assume they want Purge and Celestial and uh, Purge and Wreckage. That's kind of all I see. Elspeth's probably decent. Makes a bunch of blockers. Um, Electrolyze is probably... Electrolyze is just like okay on what it does. Fogs. I can see cutting like my logic knots, like just not having counter magic. This negate has to be horrible. The gate's gotta be bad. Um, and it's like what's worse, lightning bolt or logic knot? I think Lightning Bolt is. I might be wrong. I probably I probably am wrong. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about this deck. You cut logic knot? Okay. I just needed some kind of some kind of intelligent opinion and I, I would have gone with it. Heater, dude, look at this. How does he play Field of Ruin in his Cryptic Command deck? Yeah, we want this. Do so you like bolts just to like kill random creatures that come back? Or kill like something like this, I guess. The search for the settle the records is pretty sweet. Faithless looting seems to be like the epitome of control decks. Like the just like not the epitome, like the the like just get you card against control decks. <laughs> All right, let's deal with this. Probably takes my cryptic. Probably takes my seller wreckage. Oh, okay, I mean they can play around that. Looting, right? Dude, Teddy, you're just aggressive. You're just aggressive. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive. So now I'm just so now just a bit much. That's just what Nathan thought. This is going to be my last league of the night, by the way. Yeah, Phoenix has to. Yeah, so now this is kind of annoying. I'd like to draw another spell, though. I'm probably just going to use this because I have to... I just can't sit here with four mana and not do anything. Unless I just want to use my life total as a resource. But I don't really, like... Just throwing away mana. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. There's those count. These were the, the. I guess the bolt would also be poor. So we're actually, we're just dead, right? We have to draw Supreme Verdict. And, like, we're just going to, because we can't, because we can't take it home.
All right, on to the last game here. I really appreciate everybody for hanging out tonight. Um, been a been a fun stream. I do like this deck's been fun to play. It's not my style, but I, it's 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 fun to play. It's not usually what goes on here. It's a lot of modern though, so I mean you're kind of in your element. <clears throat> Sorry, my wife texted me. She's on her way home. She went out tonight with her with her parents. Damn, I gotta work tomorrow. That's so that's so depressing about today's holidays. Like tomorrow's just a normal day. You don't even get like more than one day off. Which kind of sucks. Oh, match got paired. Okay, back to the last. Last match. Hopefully we can cash the league. It'll be nice. We have the first league today I've cashed. It's been a rough day. Why well, can't yeah, join it? Uh, we're going to keep this. Hands very good. Uh, I'm going to lead, go get a hollow fountain with this, hallowed fountain, Rio Jund, interesting name for my opponent. Put on the bottom, put on top. All right, Inquisition. So we're going to play some fun mid-range magic. This should be good. If my opponent plays something like a Bob, I'll let it go. Well, yeah, I mean, i got to counter this. Liliana is going to be pretty annoying. I'm going to take this enchantment out just to make the goyf smaller. Alternatively, <coughs> I'm going to delve one more to make the Tarmogoyf, future Tarmogoyf smaller. And it's just a 2-3, but then I can, like, lightning bolt it if they don't put a land. Oh, it's a 3-4 because oh, that was just stupid. That was dumb. So let's hope this isn't a Liliana. If it is, we'll probably hit the Liliana. Okay, scavenging is good. Probably should play my I should play my fetch line there. That was stupid. Yeah, I definitely should have played my fetch land. 
Okay, Drew Snapcaster, which is pretty great. Still pretty soft to Liliana, but such is life. There she is. So we're going to ditch a land. Probably just ditch this Scalding Tarn. All right, um, put on the bottom, put on top. I'll ditch this Logic Knot. My opponent picks up here. The Helix is going to help me deal with, like, manage the board. So I think before this puts a counter on it, I'm actually just going to tap the team and bounce this Liliana. Because I can either snap Logic Knot the Liliana on the way down, um, tap opponent's team, because I can counter it on the way down while still being able to Lightning Helix this at some point. Like, I don't want this to get too large and me not be able to find an answer for it. I guess that was kind of dumb because I can just block and the combination of blocking and lightning helixing will do the job at some point. It's going to work out great. Wait for them to attack. Now we got Snap Cryptic going on, which is great. We don't have a lot of cards in our hand, but. Cryptic Command. Counter target, spell, draw a card. Now we've got Snapcaster in play. Do a red source check on the field? That makes sense. Do it at some... I don't think I'm in a hurry to do it, right? You drew a fetch? Okay. I was going to say, I don't think we're in a, we're in a hurry at all. Well, hang on now. So if I do this in his draw step, one, two, three, I can still go snap logic knot. So I think I'm actually going to. We're going to not get blood braid elfed, hopefully. You got a mountain, son? What do we want here? Probably just another island. No mountain. Gas. Had a mountain. All right, so we'll just cycle this thing twice. No sense in just running out of the Snapcaster Mage when that can counter something. All right. Now I'll be more aggressive with Snapcaster. Yeah, we're, we're grinding them out now. Terminate. All right, you got it. We're just going to snap, electrolyze this Blood Raid Elf. I'm going to wait. I should have waited until the end of turn to do this. Which I'm still going to do because I want to be able to counterspell 
something my opponent plays. I think I, I think I sequence this poorly. Yeah, I definitely sequence this poorly. I should have waited because now if they play something, I pissed away my Snapcaster Mage. Like I could have just done it. I could have just countered like a Liliana and done it on my main phase. Just keep pecking away with my old Snapcaster Mage. They're gonna kill it. Nice. That's expected, right? Jun like can't. Jun struggles against this deck in the game one. Oh, I had think twice in my graveyard. Should have flashed that back. Forgot it was there. It's a little think twice. You sometimes miss it. I missed it twice in this league, just not being not look not used to looking for it. I'll flash it back at the end of their turn. Just keep my mana up. Hopefully I can hit like a planeswalker of some sort. That would be gas. Teferi or a Jace. I should have fetched first. Well, that's pretty good. So I kinda just want to run that out there and snapcaster. Yeah, I'd like to get a card out of it, not just damage. So I think I'm gonna main phase Snap Serum Visions. We don't need the mana. We're just looking for something here. Looking for a big a big haymaker. Both of those are big haymakers. Oh, how sick is that? That one of them is gonna draw us into the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's so gas. Jun can't beat it. So what are they doing here? They return blood blade elf. Oh my god, I F6. Oh, that's annoying. Could have countered that, which would have been great. But I was just looking over, just distracted and F6. But I'm not, I, I, again, like we're in such a good spot that I don't think I'm really that worried about it. Yeah, I'm just going to like let this resolve. They take two damage. I then path the exile or counter the Bloodbraid Elf, whatever my opponent wants. Or I can just trade it with Snapcaster Mage. It would have been nice to just, I was just like not paying attention, F6, and didn't, uh, and then got my, could have counted the Crypt Command. So you take the counter spell, which makes sense. Put this into play. I'm just going to block. Now my opponent's literally gonna like roll over in their grave. It's probably like the greatest search for his Kanta, or greatest serum visions of all time. I'm just going to Lightning Helix this because Path to Exile can deal with Tarmogoyf. I know that could go upstairs, but... Hey, Alexand. Alexand. Hope you're doing well.
All right, we're going to fire this off at them. Just to kind of use the mana from Teferi. Okay. So now the Snapcaster Mage plus, like, plus Colony plus Electrolyzes is lethal. So now let's flash this in, just target Lightning Helix, let them take the Path to Exile, or take Electrolyze, excuse me. Yeah, we just buried him here. So they, they could have drawn a removal spell for the one of my creatures for sure, but so I got a million lands in play. We're drawing two cards a turn. We're in pretty good shape here. Even I don't think I can lose this one. Let's fire this thing up first. I should count. Wait, hang on. Before before this becomes a creature, I should activate Teferi. You know, I'm, I'm a little low on time, but I, I should do this right at least. I can hit a counter spell. All right, I didn't. I'm gonna fate seal with Jace if my opponent if this doesn't kill my opponent. Okay, nice. So against Jund, I know Ben cuts some number of bolts and lightning helixes when he plays against Jund. So like this comes in, this comes in, the negate comes in, the purges come in. You probably can cut these bolts, because you just have so many answers to Dark Confidant anyways. Crypt Command's good, Jace's good, Logic Knot's probably good. You probably need Path, but you probably don't need all of them. Electrolyze seems great. Lightning Helix is kind of medium. The only other cards that I could kind of want are Vendillion Click and Settle the Wreckage, but I don't know what to cut for them. Supreme Verdict seems great. Logic Knot on the draw seems kind of medium. I wish Ben was here. Tell me what was going on. I'm going to board in both clicks. I think I'm a fan of the clicks. I don't think this settle's going to be great. You cut one cryptic. I have to look over there for you, for you, Freed Mania. <laughs> I'm just not used to. Because it appears you know what you're talking about. I, I don't quite know the ins and outs of this. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. We can deal with Liliana. We can deal with... Bob's going to be annoying because we have to pad it. Okay, takes Electrolyze. Negate's a good pickup. Negate means we have it like an active play on turn two. So they're gonna. This is kind of cool because they like have to take the cryptic, but like our negate. Wow, they don't have another land. So say our negate's probably pretty live. Wow, they don't have a land. That's insane. All right, let me get a steam vents. Switch between Shadow and Jeskai. So you know what you're doing. So I likely have to just path this turn away, I think. I could just take a shot from it. I think I'm going to untap. The problem is I don't have any way to deal with this creature besides pathing it. 
So I think I'm just going to path the Glaive. It sucks to give an opponent that's screwed on mana lands, but like I'm going to have to path this at some point. I might as well not take damage from it. All right, we're going to have Crypt Command online next turn. Okay. That's a good one. There's the ravine. So they probably have another Tarmogoyf coming. That's what that's what that tells me. So now we're gonna hold up Vendillion Click. Hold up Cryptic. They don't do anything. I could path in his upkeep. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just gonna take a hit from this thing. I'm just going to take this Tassiger. I think. Well, I have answers to this Tassiger. I might as well. Well, this Abrupt Decay is also kind of annoying. It's right there. Give me one second. My wife's home. Hey, so gave him his uh, hospital stuff at 8. Um, Yes. Can't hit. Abrupt Decay doesn't hit anything you care about. Can't hit District of Fairy. So I probably just take this Tasker. Because a Tasker, they can double spell. I could have just left them with nothing also. If they fire up Raging Ravine, we can just take care of it. I'm probably going to just cycle this Cryptic Command if they don't do anything on their turn. Just like bounce, bounce their Scavenging Ooze and draw a card. I'm going to time out of this. Holy shnikes. So I think I'm just going to hit this after they attack. So they have one more Abrupt Decay. And then probably just get an Island. I could have purged it, but I, I can also purge this one. So... My opponent wants to eat a Vendillion click they can. Okay. So now we can bounce this and purge this, like bounce draw.
purge this thing if my opponent attacks with it. I gotta counter draw that. Counter target spell draw a card. Okay, electrolyze is a good hit. Gonna get him for three. So you have abrupt decay and the one unknown card. They respect search for us. Leaving an abrupt decay means they like super respect search for us, can't I? Let me get another. Let me get a red source with this one. Really gonna K command me? Okay. Probably gonna take this negate. Get rid of that. That was tough. Whoa. So that's just like, that just lights out. Unless they have Maelstrom Holes. Yeah, he needs another red source, duh. Sorry about that. Just losing my mind. But this is probably a good night, right? So Elspeth is the game ender. So I'm just going to block all of these, make my opponent use their abrupt decay. Actually, I might as well just hold back, just chump with one. Reset blockers. I wish I had my negate now, but... Moment air mage, okay. Now just hide behind these soldiers for the rest of the game. Yeah, I definitely wish I definitely wish I had the negate. If I had that negate, then I'd feel much more confident about my position. So I'm going to put four in front of here, and I think I'm going to put one in front of this Tarmogoyf, and then let my opponent get in. Or is it even worth, is it even worth um, messing with my opponent's resources? It's probably not. It's probably worth just, like, chumping all the way and just keeping my life total high. I should put one more in front of that scavenging use though. Because now my opponent can like sack, eat, and then yeah, that was stupid. So I guess I'll make them do it now. So now they just sack this, then eat, then eat it with scavenging use. So this is just like poor. Should have put one more. Yep, I deserve this. Should have put one more point of damage in front. And they eat it. Yep, 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 yep. It's a mistake on my part. Okay. Jeez. And probably just. I'll just tuck the Tarmogoyf. 
Well, no, I'm going to check out so that I can Celestial Purge the Raging Ravine. Planeswalker Tron, yeah. Wonder if it's right to go up one more with Elspeth. Go Elspeth to eight. If I hit a counter spell, I'm gonna go Elspeth to eight. If I don't hit a counter spell, it might be kind of greedy for me to do that. So I still have a decay, so just gonna go chump, chump, purge this. And I can just go to fairy bounce. Play. I'm probably going to brainstorm with Jace first off because if I hit a counter spell, then I can go to seven with, I can go up again with my Elspeth. And now, I'm just going to tuck one of these, put this underneath. I'll field it and be able to be able to field a ruin, shuffle it away. I hit this red source. Yeah, I think so. And we're going to cut him off a of red. And I probably can actually just attack with three of these. Yeah. All right. We'll put the deck back up here. Oh, we want a, want a trash. You want a treasure chest. That's nice. Oh, shoot. 